previously on. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Damn. Can't even enjoy hey, a nice hey, little... Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Why not? Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. I understand. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. Really? It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Oh, wow. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. That's cute. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Appreciate that, Gordon. And again, nothing personal. I know you're just doing your job, and holy shit, who broke my what? Someone broke my photograph. Let me guess, it's the photo of my parents, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. And from what I'm seeing on the screen here, it looks like I'm gonna Bruce, go to the live PDSD moment. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I want to know what to do if my family would die like that. I mean, I would go mentally insane. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not yeah, all what's... reporters just want a headline. What's the catch? Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i bet it's harvey's friend no one's Falcone. even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a wayne 
Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. Or Hill as well. All signs point to Hill. Who knows? <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, so. this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. All right. I'm innocent. <sighs> the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. She's stressed out, Vicky. Don't blame her. Don't blame him, man. I mean, you're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Of course, I'm Goodbye, gonna beat Ray. this, cause I'm Batman. Anyways. All right, Alfred. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents' Don't not say a coincidence. It. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Hmm. Either Falcone is in it, or Hill. Either way, both of them are being pretty suspicious. A warrant? Yep. What the hell's going on? What do you mean? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Of course. Of course you get to stress out, but Mayor not me. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Yep. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. Oh, shit. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? So he just to could tangle win. you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Hmm. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. Damn. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. Whoa. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. Yo, she's sporting a black eye. And with that look... Yeah. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. Selena. Nice to meet you. It's a strong grip you've got there. Hmm. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, she oh, knows. Sorry. Selena's she knows. new to town. I've she been knows. showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. What happened last mugged. night? Oh, that's the I'm just angry. I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Hmm. I still Passive can't believe aggressive. I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. 
Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. Hmm. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? Yes, Selena. It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. I know. We've got it under control. Do you? Yes, I do. I'll Wait, handle Harvey? it. Yeah, that's right. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. That's what I thought! Uh, excuse me a moment. Great. Hey, so it's we Harvey. can privately talk. No, Selena, you ain't shit. I know you, and you know me. And we both know what we know. So speak. Say something. I dare you. Damn, this is intense. Silence, bro. Someone say something. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How? How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. That's Sorry sad. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Okay. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. Yeah. Truly. Honestly. You have something that belongs to me. So? I want it back. How about now? This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Giggity giggity? These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, now lie in we've it. made this bed. And <gasps> I'm not gonna lie in it alone. <gasps> you owe me. Damn. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Or not. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Yes. Give me the drive. No, no, no. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. You gotta have to do that today. I guess I'm screwed either way. Hey, yo. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Hmm. Better hurry. Everything okay here? Peachy. Just peachy. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Mm -mm. Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? No. <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. The hell? And Harvey's giving me that jealous look too. Like, bro, I was not trying to steal your girl. Alfred. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. Too quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. I love how I'm making so much noises when I jump. 
and yet no one appears, no alarms being sounded, like, amazing. Amazing. Damn, come on. Open the door, bro. Ooh, that's nasty. That is nasty. Holy shit. <clears throat> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Oh, lord. Gordon. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Blood, guts, bodies galore. Alright, let's see. Let's look at this first. Analyzing. That is so awesome how I can do that chemical. with my gloves. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Okay, let's look at the guts now. Nothing left to bury. Mm. Can I link this here? Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Doing this whole link sequence reminds me of Detroit Become Human, when I had to do the link with... Uh, I forgot his name, but with the android. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Yep, from a couple episodes back, I remember. Let's look at that door. Damn. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Same here. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Sounds like I need a better upgrade then, if that's the case. Can you actually open that? Okay, let's try. Damn. I need me a suit like that so I can open up my jars of peanut butter. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Anything or nah, nothing, huh? I'm gonna cancel that link. There has to be something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister, but I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm, okay, so let me see if I'm able to look over here. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. Falcone is been here. busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. So wait, does Catwoman work for Falcone? Pony, because she did mention that she was supposed to meet a client here. No. That bad? Oof, hell yeah, it's that bad. He has no... He has Face one less first. eye. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Clearly not. Oof. Skylight Club. I mean, he's not going to use it anyway, so... Damn. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? 
Whoa, what am I doing? Oh my- Oh, good god, what am I doing? Ew! Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Alright, um... This is nasty. Like, dead ass nasty. So what, do I just... Ugh! Ugh! My god. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Okay, that's, uh, interesting. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Sounds like a zombie movie to me. Alright, so... Is there a link for this? Possibly? Ah, there is. Never seen a bullet do that. And is there a link to possible bloody hand or not? Nah. Let me see. This link thing is. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what to do. Damn, this is gonna be a long. Hold on. Torn flesh, right? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Right here, the same thing, right? Nah? I don't know what to do then. Ah, uh, this is gonna be confusing. Well, not really. Blast, right? So right here. Wait, what's this? Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Oh! There's another one. It's a cop. The forest grows thinner every day. I mean, yeah, sure. With that dramatic line, but whatever. Alright, so... Huh. Is there anything else I can, like, take a look at or not? Nah? Gripped face? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I got this. Look, look at this. Ready? Bloody hands, ripped face. This has to go together. The cop shredded this merc to pieces. Barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Like a zombie in the bullet. This bullet could have come from something. Huh. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I think I have a theory. Let me just cancel this link, right? I got this. This is so hard. It's like, I'm a little bit slow on finding patterns, so... Okay, so hear me out. Yeah, he was ripping his face, blah blah, whatnot, but... This bullet... Right here? think so. No proof. Okay, whatever. Um... Let me see. Maybe I can link this one with this one. See if it works. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. So I'm looking up now? Man. These clues, man. These clues. Um... Uh, so 
So what would link this then? Like, I don't know. I mean, those are... Huh. Maybe I can look someplace else. No, there's nothing here. Tire tracks. Something was here when the explosion occurred. So right here, with right here. Right? Hmm. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Oh, thank God, because I wasn't wasting another minute on this, man. Like, it was I'm getting a little bit boring for me. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. And then it was a shootout. Wild Wild West style. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Damn. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop. Upstairs. The shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Alright, so there's a good couple of possibilities. Let me see if this one is the first one. Is this it? Yo, I just love all of this technology, bro. Like, Batman? I'm gonna say this Batman? Both targets could have been shot from here. Totally a science geek. But no and phosphorus I love it. trace. All right, let's check out the next spot here. See if this one's doable. All right. Aha! I found some stuff. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Not bad. Second guess. Do you even need to go to the third one? Okay. Ugh, oh, smoker. <laughs> killing time. And killing lungs. Cause smoking kills. This is the right spot. So where did he go? To the window! To the wall! Right? I guess I gotta follow the trail. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. <gasps> Still here. Found him. Time to go to work. Cause I'm Batman. <laughs> Ew, I think he's dead. Oh. Don't even bother. My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I I ain't telling you nothing. Damn. You you can't make me talk. I guess I gotta break some bones. I ain't telling you, Jack. Really? Okay. You trying to scare a confession out of me? No, I not really. Break. Your bones will. Damn, I'm gonna have so much fun being the shit out of you, bro. Ooh, the pipe! Oh my goodness. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal! 
Give me a reason to stop. Say something. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.